Hello world, welcome back to Razer RC. Exciting day for me, because I picked up a new kit, and not just any kit, I picked up this. The Schumacher Cat L1 Evo. Evolution never stops, I guess. Anyways, uh, this got released a little over a week ago, I think towards the end of December here in the United States. And super excited because uh, for a number of reasons. Number one, I've never had a Schumacher before, and a lot of you may be wondering what is a Schumacher. Uh, I'll explain as much as I can. Um, there's a one to scale four wheel drive electric race buggy belt drive, the latest from Schumacher. Uh, so Schumacher, if you're not familiar with them, is actually an RC car that's been around for a long, really long time, like over 30 years. Uh, Cecil Schumacher, I think is his name, is the guy who started the company, invented a lot of stuff in the RC industry, some technology back then, such as the ball differential. Yes, he actually invented the ball differential that we all know and love today. So you can thank him for that. And uh, they're very popular in the UK. Uh, they are a British company. I think they're from England and uh, pretty much focused primarily on carpet vehicles. So Schumacher's not really well known, I guess, in the United States. I think if you talk to half the people at a racetrack, half of them probably would not know what Schumacher is. Um, you know, because in the US, pretty much everything's dirt racing, although more and more stuff is going to carpet. So my local track uh, actually switched over from indoor clay to carpet, and um, I've been trying to convert some of my dirt cars over to carpet, but it's gotten kind of expensive. And uh, so rather than do try to convert all of them, I, I converted my, like, my B61, and then um, I decided to sell some and just pick up carpet cars. So that's what this is, the Cat L1 Evo. Arguably one of the best carpet cars, we'll see. Um, you know, when, when you go carpet, you might as well get a carpet car. So quick look at the box. Here's the new body that they got. So this is just a minor upgrade from the Cat L1 that has been out for, I think, a couple years. Quick look at the chassis. Uh, two millimeter chassis, a lot of carbon fiber, a lot of aluminum. Some information about some of the things they got. Anti-roll bars, blah, blah, blah. We'll see G, da, 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 da. Uh, I actually cannot find information about where this is actually made. I mean, they got information about the Schumacher brand, but most things in the US are supposed to say made in China, made in Taiwan, made in UK or wherever. It doesn't actually say. Second thing I noticed about this box is that there is no seal. So uh, hopefully nobody stole my wheels and bodies. <laughs> But uh, first RC car I can recall that doesn't actually have a seal. So we're going to pop this open. I have actually not looked inside before. So a little unboxing here. As you can see, some wheels. From my understanding, uh, the rears are basically compatible with Team Associated. The fronts are basically compatible with TLR 22 floor wheels. Now the brand new 22X4 that's coming out has a different offset, but these should be the same as 22 four wheels. People also say they're quite flexible, and I would agree they are fairly flexible. Bunch of parts, so bags within bags. Bag B. Well, let's just look through bag. Bag B, what have we got here? Spur gears. Oh, quite a big spur gear there. What the heck is that? Some sort of giant gear right there. Looks like a slipper spring. Uh, some sort of Diff housing, probably a center. Actually, this has a center slipper, so front and rear differentials. Some of these red bearings, which are interesting. So this is belt drive. Looks like a front uh, bulkhead. Uh, hard to see much else in there. Some ball studs, washers, steel washers, it looks like. Um, so probably a bunch of the transmission front and rear. Looks like the inserts, probably for different dip heights. So... This has adjustable diff heights, I think four different sizes or heights. Another bag here, looks like all the shocks. Um, I think titanium nitride coated shock shafts. I'm not sure what these are, interesting looking inserts. Uh, universals, so these are steel universals, I believe. In the rear, not sure what the fronts are. Some sway bars, springs. I think it comes with like green and blue springs, although most people are actually running black and black on carpet, so we'll have to pick up some more springs. Um, yeah, in the US, a little bit harder to get parts, some little Velcro or double-sided tape. 
Um, Cause they are just a small brand. I mean, I looked around, uh, looked online. A main is local to me a couple hours away. And so they carry Schumacher parts. Also discount RC store, which is another company in the U S I think they're somehow related to Schumacher because they carry a lot of parts. Um, maybe they're the U S distributor. Not really sure, but uh, you can get parts from there. And I actually ordered some parts directly from Schumacher in England. See how long it takes to get there. But um, those are the arms. More sway bars, more sway bar mounts it looks like. Ball studs, uh, hard to see much else in there. Wing stickers. Here's the new body, um, arguably pretty darn ugly. I'm not one to really comment on the looks of a vehicle because it's kind of subjective to the eye of the beholder, but the old Cat L1 had one of the best looking bodies in my opinion of any RC car. This is probably one of the ugliest, so kind of a downgrade there. They say it gives more mid-corner steering. I don't know, we'll see, but it is pretty darn ugly. So here we go, some belts. Lots of belts, looks like front, uh, maybe steering knuckles. Not totally sure. Not sure what these are, maybe some sort of belt mount. Uh, different steel gears. Uh, looks like little slipper plates, not really sure. All kinds of pulleys, belts, tensioners, all that kind of stuff in this vehicle. Uh, so, a fairly complex kit. It'll be really interesting to check out. So my other belt drive vehicle is actually the Trailer 22 Ford 2.0. I still have that. Kind of put it away into hibernation. Um, but So that really leaves Schumacher as the last remaining belt drive, four-wheel drive off-road vehicle and uh, arguably one of the better ones for carpet, so we'll have to see. But pretty nice looking kit overall. I don't know what else we can see in here. Uh, just a lot of spacers, washers. It looks like a little wire tie down or wire organizer. Yeah, a lot of parts, a lot of little parts. All your fluids, 45 weight, and uh, what's this other one? 45 weight and 35 weight diff oils. Uh, some sort of thread lock. Yep, thread lock. So, as I understand it, you need a lot of thread lock on this because there is a lot of aluminum, a lot of screws that go in aluminum. And then your big bag of carbon. Carbon ESC mounts, carbon side stiffeners, carbon shock towers. Uh, all kinds of carbon braces, lots of carbon fiber in this kit. Interesting how they kind of have this bluish green carbon fiber and then sort of your traditional blackish gray carbon fiber. So different color carbon fiber and then your actual chassis. Two millimeter chassis. Anodized uh, gun metal. There's all your little cutouts for ESC trays and stuff. So very thin chassis. One of the updates they made to the Evo is actually having like a top center brace because I guess a lot of people are bending these on the uh, L1. So hopefully that adds some more durability. A very, very thin chassis. Here's your little setup sheets, uh, the manual, kind of this matte finish paper. Uh, looks okay. Very thick. Ooh, here's your full color section with all the exploded parts. Uh, you can even buy paint. <laughs> they tell you every paint color you can get. Interesting. Uh, yeah, so we'll have to see. The other nice thing about this manual is I think it's got some tuning information in the back. So it tells you about front toe camber, what those things do in case you do not know. Nice that they actually have a little, ooh, a little Michael Orlowski setup sheet. So you can copy his setup. Your Newman's setup. So yeah, nice that they actually have a lot of different setups. Danny McGee from Eden Park National. Sounds like a UK track to me. Uh, some more stickers. Uh, the British Radio Car <laughs> Association. I'm not in the UK, but uh, yeah, if you want to know more about that. <laughs> Interesting. If you ever visit the UK, I guess you can go check all that. Yeah, so there you go. The unboxing of the Cat L1 Evo. Excited about uh, trying this thing out and uh, putting it together. It looks like it's a bit of a complicated one to put together, but I'm looking forward to it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the add notifications button. Look for more videos soon, and thanks for watching.